Hey guys, how's it going? On today's video, I want to go over the start of the restoration of my 87 325IS. In all the previous videos, you saw me completely tear the car apart. Engine, transmission, rear end, interior, body panels, all off the car. Obviously, I put the, the hood and fenders just to save some space. But in this video, I kind of wanted to go over some of the parts that are going to be going back on the car, what's going on with the car, and kind of get you updated since all of those uh, previous videos have, were filmed months ago. Although, not much progress has been done on the car, unfortunately, but I have just been collecting parts and parts and parts. So, I'm going to go ahead get the hood off so we can see in the engine bay and then we'll start going over the car. Obviously there's no wiring. I am going to shave the bay. So I've already started getting rid of uh, most of the extra brackets that were on the chassis and whatnot. I'm also gonna do a removable core support. Uh, so most of the spot welds have been drilled out but I'm waiting to set up a time to have the chassis uh, 3D scanned so that instead of having to cut out all the delete plates by hand, I'd rather just be able to CAD them out and, uh, so I could just laser cut them and call it a day so that I don't have to try to make my own plate for this and that and a bunch of other stuff all the way around. I'm also going to be doing a chassis harness tuck. The chassis harness will go through you know the A pillar and then out underneath the fender through the chassis. Also, the fuse box will be uh, in the interior. Since I won't have ABS uh, with the Chase Bay's brake booster delete, sorry, it's an absolute mess over here, but I'm gonna put the fuse box right where the old ABS unit would go. I was thinking about putting a PMU in, but it seemed like most of them only had 16 inputs and outputs, and for a car that's gonna have AC uh, and do a full one, uh, full R134A conversion, then uh, it didn't seem like there was gonna be enough inputs and outputs uh, for PMU to work. So I'll probably stick with the stock fuse box for now. Uh, previous owner jacked up the car, or someone did by like the drains right there. So I went and knocked them down and put some primer on. Uh, all of the sound deadening material has been removed from the whole car. I'm going to put fresh material in. Uh, I'm going to go with Vibro, I think it was the name of it. It's right there. I'll show you guys in a second. I'm going to go ahead and when I have the chassis painted, I haven't decided yet, but I'm probably going to have them just paint the floor uh, just so that I can get all the glue off. I'm going to have to paint the floor anyway, so I'd rather just have it paint matched or have the whole chassis just painted uh, before I lay the new mat down. Also to save some space, I already have the, I put my Z3M five lug rear end. If you guys haven't seen that build series, check the link right there. That goes over five lug swapping your E30 uh, and using, you know, Z3M and E36M3 parts. So check that out. I also went through cleaned up and repainted all of the underside of the car here i'll throw in some better photos of before and after and some video but the whole car has been resprayed so it's nice and black i used a dupli color uh like bumper trim which since the coating is like a rubberized coating, I didn't want to put Raptor liner because it's a very hard, that's a very hard coating. It doesn't flex. So I figured like a, like a rubber paint would be fine. So I'll put a pic of the can that I used on screen right now. And then I went all the way up to the firewall and then I haven't done the fender, uh, the front fender liners yet, just because when I do the welding, it's going to ruin the undercoating. So it stops about here. Unfortunately, I do have the tiniest bit of rust right there that I'm gonna have to patch, which compared to the last chassis I was gonna use is a piece of cake. So that's it for that, for the chassis right now. As you can see, I do have an intercooler mocked up there. So we will be doing 
a M20 turbo build with AC. As you can see, it hiding behind there. I'm checking for clearances and stuff, trying to do the least amount of cutting. And I want the intercooler mounted higher rather than everyone mounts it lower, especially with the late model kit. And you can see the piping coming through the brake ducts, the OEM brake ducts. And everyone, you know, routes it up this way or cuts a hole there and routes it up that way. I don't want to do that. I'm going to do a little different. And I want everything to fit nicely. So you still have AC. You still have the right size intercooler, the right size piping. And it's just a, you know, a better turbo kit. I'm in the process of that. It's really hard finding the right manifold and everything. I'm going to have to make a custom intercooler for it all to work. But in the end, it will be worth it. My motor is back here. Let's use the flip-flops. That's my old motor, 2.5, which I'll keep to the side for now. I have a bunch of blocks that I've been kind of hoarding, as well as 885 heads, so that I can do a bunch of different stroker builds. I'd love to test them all out eventually, uh, but to start off, we have a Super ETA bottom end with a uh, Beamer heads, port and polished head that has uh, HD rockers and a 284 cam in it. The head is used and it came off an IX uh, that I bought that had overheated. So I'm going to have to send the head out to get rebuilt and decked to make sure everything's good. And I'm going to send the bottom end to my buddy uh geo his instagram right here bottom end is going to go to him and the motor for him to assemble and get the head rebuilt and that's it for that i will be doing some good old carbon on the car roof trunk and hood will all be carbon and i'm going to be doing an mtech one kit i'm just going to buy a new one from classic hero parts uh, instead of trying to source a really good condition used one, which is going to have a little bit of rust and still some imperfections. I haven't fully decided on the paint color yet. It's either going to be the stock uh, Schwartz Black, or I'm going to do a, a Evo Black or Jet Black, one of those. And then I've just been hoarding a ton of parts up here, my E36 uh, five lug front knuckles. I went ahead and sold my... Feel extragistic coilovers, the red and black ones, because I'm changing up the color scheme to something completely different. And there is the matte vibro you can find it on Amazon. Unlike my other car, this is going to have a full interior. It's going to have all the amenities, speakers, um, power steering of sorts. I'm still going to get a, I'm going to get another half cage just because I like the look, and it, there's a little bit of safety in that. Bucket seats, we're going to get new carpet. If anyone has an OEM, they make an OEM black carpet, which they sell right now, but they don't make the rear bench seat. I'll put the part numbers on the screen right now. But if someone has an OEM gray one that's brand new with this part number, I would be super interested so that I can still buy the rear section new. And I'll get them both re-dyed black, but I'd rather have them both new and both re-dyed so that they're same color instead of buying the new BMW carpet, which is black, but the other part is unavailable. So I'd have to dye this rear seat right there. Uh, what else? What else? What else? So I got I found a set of cheap BC coilovers that were already five lugs. So someone bought those and only ran them for a short period of time. Although I'm going turbo, I'm going to start off with ITBs and headers. So we got the I Ireland Engineering headers right there. Uh, I'm going to be doing the Nuke cam and fuel rail or a Stimtech fuel fuel or a Stimtech fuel rail. Couldn't say that. And uh, I got 2M carbon fiber dash, which it's for sale, but I'll most likely just keep it. Yeah, that's pretty much all the parts we got here. I have a bunch of stuff that I just sent off for powder coating. So if you're interested in a E30 uh, reinforced from front subframe, E30 reinforced rear subframe, an E36 reinforced front subframe, or some E30 reinforced trailing arms, 
And I'm also going to do a pre-order on intake manifolds if you want a matching intake manifold and valve cover uh, valve cover that I just freshly powder coated. I think I'm doing black and silver, like a more cast color. Um, make sure you're following me on Instagram at the mass driver and my parts page at rage at parts. By the time this video goes up, the pre-order for the reinforced subframes and the intake manifolds should be live. So go check that out. Now that the videos are caught up to date, the next things are going to be the AC system, send the motor out and getting this engine bay dialed and ready to go so that I can start putting all of the parts that I've been collecting on. I'm probably going to have the engine bay painted before I paint the rest of the car just so I can get a ton of stuff back on it um, and off the shelf. All the suspension bits and the motor drivetrain and make sure all the wiring is good and everything that needs to be deleted in the engine bay is ready to go so that we can quickly get this build back together. The interior is the easy part. It's just cookie cutter, you know, once the wiring's in, carpet, the the mat, and just putting the interior back together. That's the that's the easiest part uh, about this build. That's the build overview of the E30. Stay tuned. I'm gonna have a few videos of the going over the wiring harness and deleting ABS and a few other and cruise control from the whole harness uh, later in the coming weeks. So stay tuned for that. I'll also announce the new project, which I've already shown on my Instagram and in videos plenty of times, but I'll just make it official since a lot of those parts are also at powder coating so that the other build can go a little bit quicker than this one since I'm not going to go as in depth with this chassis that I am with the E30. So also stay tuned for that. If you have any questions, put them down below. Happy to just discuss parts. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.